welcome back to Life is Aisha. I know you all haven't seen me in a while. And I'm in the middle of filming this makeup look, so that's why my lips don't have anything on it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to do some cooking for you all today. So, but yeah, I'm going to be doing um, the plan disclaimer. The plan was I was going to be doing the rigatoni chicken alfredo um, by Coop. Coop can cook or Coop's cooking. I'm gonna get their name exactly right for you. Coop can cook, I think. Cooking with Coop. <laughs> I promise you. Um, I go on her channel all the time and she also has a website. Yeah, I wanted to use her recipe. So um, I will let you all, um, I feel like my arm is getting tired. Getting tired because I haven't cooked them forever. But um, I mean, I haven't filmed them forever. But yeah, so I'm going to take you all step by step. I will just be showing you all how I cook the food. And I'll be back to let you all um, know if I enjoyed it, my family, etc., whoever I'm cooking for today, because I really don't know. Okay, first I'm going to show you, um, well, I'm going to start showing you the ingredients. These are basically the dry ingredients that are not refrigerated. Um, so I have my penne, which the recipe actually calls for um, rigatoni pasta, but I could not find it. So I ended up getting this brand. I normally get the, um, I can't think of what brand of pasta I get, but it's not the Kroger brand, but um, that's what I can find in my store. I got some, um, picked up some more Tonys. I normally just get the regular Creole seasoning, but this one said more spice. So I said I would try that one out. I have some seasoning salt here. Um, I'm probably not going to need it since I have the Creole seasoning. Poultry seasoning for the chicken. Um, I have some minced garlic, some parsley flakes um, just for garnishing. Um, this is my olive oil. And I have my chicken stock right here. It's the Swanson Cooking Chicken Stock. Um, I don't get the chicken broth, but it, they were out of it. And let me show you the cold slash wet ingredients. Okay, um, this is the chicken I'll be using. This just is just um, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Um, it's the Sanderson Farms brand. I picked it up from either Walmart or Kroger. They both sell this brand. Cream cheese here. I actually didn't... I actually wasn't trying to get the one third less fat, but I mean, I think it'll still taste good. I just have never used um, the cream cheese that wasn't like the regular one, but this is the only one that they had left besides the um, store brand. And I knew that I wanted to get the good stuff <laughs> for the cream cheese. Um, this is just my broccoli right here. I've already taken it out the bag um, and I have how much I want to use because I'm not going to be using the full size recipe. Like I probably only be using one of these breasts since I'm just cooking this for myself. Um, and also I'm testing this out. So if I like it, then I cook the other half um, probably later on this week. But since it's Monday, um, why not just try it out? Um, and I'm sorry if I'm saying um a lot, but... I'm kind of like looking at the recipe and <laughs> in my ingredients at the same time to make sure I got everything. I do know that I forgot to pick up um, the mushrooms, so that kind of has annoyed me. But I've been in two grocery stores this past weekend and I'm not going back for one extra item. So whatever. The recipe called for Parmesan cheese and it called for Monterey Jack, but this is the only one I can find a Cheddar Jack. So we're just going to use that and hopefully it turns out good. It also called for mozzarella cheese. This is the low moisture whole milk one. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference, but um, that's the one that I saw and I picked up. And um, I got this whipping cream. I got it from Walmart. And it's, it was way cheaper. Now, it is only one paint, but it was much cheaper than the Kroger brand of it. So that's the one I got for it. And yeah, let's just get right into this. Okay, I have my chicken over here. I cut it up. Um, it's just one breast. And I basically only season it with um, poultry seasoning. So... Real simple on the season for this because we will be seasoning the um, sauce mixture. Just adding some oil to my skillet and I'm going to let this heat up. This is um, just olive oil. Let this cook do its thing. Um, make sure you want to spread it out so I can all cook evenly. And I have this heat on medium high. Let me put it on medium so I don't want it to cook too fast so I'm cook thoroughly my chicken is almost done I'm gonna let it get more brown obviously and then we're gonna transfer it and start making the the um the sauce and next in the same skillet we're gonna add in our butter and our garlic and broccoli so yeah let's turn this heat up a little bit get that butter to melting 
I sauteed the garlic and the butter for a little while and then I added in the broccoli so I'm letting it all simmer and um cook through thoroughly before I start adding in my cream but um yeah I really hate I don't have the mushroom because I just feel like I need something extra in this dish but it'll be okay okay I just added in the chicken stock and I'm gonna let this simmer and see it reduces a little bit more Okay, I totally forgot to mention these additional seasonings, but you do need your Italian seasoning. Um, also, like I said before, I have the link in my description box. I would have copied and pasted all the ingredients, but I didn't want it to be too long. Um, next, I'm adding in, I think, my um, Cajun seasoning. Then it's going to be the black pepper and the onion powder and garlic powder. And I was trying not to be so heavy handed with those seasonings, but you know, sometimes. <laughs> okay, now I've added back in the um, pasta that I drained. So, yeah. And now adding the chicken. And this is basically the finished product. I just have to put it in the oven. I topped it with the mozzarella and the Parmesan cheese. And I put it in the oven um, on 350 for about 15 minutes. Now I'm about to put my garlic knots in the oven to go with my meal. Okay, and this is the finished product after it's out of the oven. I'm just going to top it with a little parsley flakes. And these are the garlic knots that I did with it. This is my plate. I probably will eat a salad with it, but this is just too much right now. I can't add it right now. And my wine is just this the rest of my Moscato barefoot. And I have my wine right here and my food. So bon appetit. Okay, I am back and yeah, I have my lipstick and stuff on because I just finished my video. But I have my food over here to the side. I have a little bit of the pasta, the broccoli, and the chicken. It's hot, so I'm trying to blow it. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, it's still hot. put too much in my mouth at once but y'all this here this homemade alfredo it is bomb i did that if i must say so myself yes pass my stuff on the back it is so good i'm gonna start cooking more for y'all and myself but um it's really good I can taste all the seasonings I use. I'm going to stop talking while I'm eating. But, okay. That's, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Let me know if you all enjoy watching me cook. And, yeah. I'll see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.